God, me sick, me reggae feel. Reggaeville family, this is Reggae Jam 2022, and I have with me all the way from Jamaica, Mortimer. How is everything, sir? Good, good, good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, everything is everything. You know what I mean? Last time we spoke, it was in Jamaica. Exactly. You remember? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I can tell you, it was February 22nd. Yeah. Just about what 16 days before the first official COVID oh, really case really hit yeah, Jamaica was true. confirmed there. Yeah, I was this ad tour and them thing there. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And can you imagine what happened then? You know, so life, you know. Yeah, man. Life. But now you're here. Very happy to see you over there. Um, must be very exciting. This is a first tour. <laughs> How you feel about that? Really, really good. Really excited. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I think it's been the first time for you actually flying. So how was that like? Well, yo, crazy. Um, <laughs> at first, I was a little bit afraid, to be honest. You know what I mean? Especially when I felt the plane like going off. I was like, oh, damn, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. I, we flew for 10 hours and then um, my ears like the pressure like i was it was new to me too you know what i mean so there was this lady beside me who told me to um just swallow a lot and chew like a gum or whatever it is and it actually helps so big up to that lady wherever she is <laughs> yeah you know but other than that it was nice you know the people were warm you know you know going through the airport is a little bit hectic you know what i mean for the first time but you don't know like it was good you know what i mean and i'm grateful to be here today right now you know what I mean? And we've and we've flown several times since, you know what I mean? And okay. it's been it's it gets better each day, you know? Yeah. So you're getting used to that. Yeah. I'm very happy to see you over here. Um that you're on this tour is wonderful. As we spoke the last time, um was February twenty second and then the COVID thing happened. Yeah. So how have you been since then? How have you experienced this period of time, these turbulent times that we have passed? Yeah, I've just been in thought, you know what I mean, for the past two years, two and odd years. Just been in a lot of thought, actually, you know what I mean. Um, spending time with my family, you know, doing music. Yeah, that never stops, you know what I mean, whether I'm at the studio or at home, you know. So, like, yeah, I just spent my time doing that most of all, you know. <laughs> Being a father and a husband. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, yeah, man. Being a father, being a husband, and being an artist and a musician, you said you made music, yeah. and I think you have a project coming up, right? Yes, Please tell me a bit about that. Yeah, it's my first album. It's um, very personal, very, very honest. You know what I mean? And from from the beginning, I'm not a person who write because of writing sake. Anything I write is actually so it go. You know what I mean? I don't make up things and. And them thing so um especially this album is one of those very personal things to me you know what i mean i'm um, very dear to my heart you know worked on it with winter james and thing you know what i mean so you don't know um very special i can't wait till it drops still to be honest <laughs> yeah man so you mentioned winter what do you appreciate about him because you have done previous works already and now you've done a whole project together an entire album how is working with him how is the vibe like when the two of you are in the studio well, you know, for one, he's a very good soul, you know what I mean? And that I can appreciate. I appreciate his musicality and expertise, you know what I mean? Um, and his guidance too, you know. I kind of look at him as an older brother kind of vibes, you know what I mean? We've managed to, you know, develop that kind of relationship over the years, you know what I mean? I know I'm, I'm stubborn a lot of times and, you know, him, you know. <laughs> you can deal with that. Yeah, yeah, you know, we've, we've, found, we've found ways around it and we're Iron Man, you know. We're good to go and it's nice making music with him all the time, all the time, you know. Yeah, man. So what can we expect musically from this album coming up? Musically? Well, I mean... A lot of things, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, just music properly done from an honest place of heart and soul, you know what I mean? That is it, because, you know, there's no musically without heartically too, and without soul, so, you know what I mean? All of them go hand in hand, you know what I mean? Yeah. But speaking of that, you mentioned also that your music is very personal, so 
is that necessary for you that you if you work with someone like a producer that you have to have a good link with that person in the studio is that a place where you want to have people you can trust and you have a certain relationship with yeah because like wor- I I can work with anybody you know what I mean but for me I think it's important when you're making something like music for people to listen to this is something that people are going to play in their homes and listen to and going to go through days with it uplifting them causing them to think and all them kind of thing you want to make sure that you have a certain relationship at least a certain level of relationship where the two of you know each other to a level you know what I mean to create that kind of a a music you know what I mean because people can feel it when it's just like music that you just make because it's a professional thing versus when you make it from from heart and there's not to say that you can't be professional and have heart at the same time too but you know what I mean like there must be a balance at the end of the day you know what I mean so yeah you yeah, know So if you're making music from the heart, something that's that dear and that personally, are you able easily to um, say at some point, okay, this this is finished now, or are you a perfectionist? And, you know, because at some point you have to unleash what you did to the people. Yeah, true, for sure. Um, you know when it's done. You can feel it, man. Then yeah. Then that's it. And then that's it. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every now and then, just because we are creatives, you know, you, know, you might hear something by me like, eh, I don't know if I should change that, or I don't know if I should, eh, or, eh. but you know, like, other than that, you know, you know when, you know it's, when it's done. Yeah, man, you know, you know. What about winter? Yeah, same thing too, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, when do you figure you will say it's done? So, when can we expect the album to drop? Well, <laughs> um, when it drops. Ah, okay. <laughs> it takes as long as it takes, right? Yeah, man, for sure, you know. Um, I don't want to disappoint anybody no. at all, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But let's say in, in the near future. All right. Yeah, very, very near future, actually. Right. Yeah, and it's 13 songs, you know what I mean, from heart and soul. And that's, yeah, that's about, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, man. You have a title for the album as yet yeah we do um but you don't know yeah <laughs> man we're holding on to that too <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Fair enough, you know? yeah. i might just ask and give it a try so yeah man so we have <laughs> enough things to yeah. look forward to be excited we will find out when it's ready right? <laughs> yeah man if, if anything i'll pinch you man you All know right. <laughs> i mean that makes it even more exciting yeah. right yeah i'm Artima. For the rest of the tour over here in Europe, also for your time remaining, where you can just explore the place and hopefully enjoy every minute of it. And especially for this album coming up, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with us, for coming over here and sharing your music life today with us. So, enough love, respect and blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you. Same to you, you know, and to everybody out there and everybody's families out there. Enough love. Always. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Me mad, me sick, me reggae feel. 